Welcome to CIM620 Digital Signal Processors. I'd like to introduce you to the hardware development system that we're going to use during this course. We won't be using the hardware development system immediately but quite quickly after the lectures start for two reasons. Firstly, I think it's much more fun if we're actually using real hardware to do real things but mainly because it gives us the opportunity to immediately put into practice what we learn as soon as we have learnt it. Some of you will already know what a microcontroller is, but I will explain briefly. It's a small system-on-chip device that's low cost. System-on-chip means that it's not just the processor, but also quite a lot of the support circuitry to allow it to interface to the real world and perform a complete application. In our case, we're interested in measuring signals from the outside world and creating new signals to control things or display or give audio information. So we're interested in things like timers, and there are 10 on this device, analog and digital inputs and outputs, methods of controlling motors, and reading switches and setting things like LEDs or output ports in a digital way. We're using the microchip DSPIC because it has a special thing called a DSP engine, and this is a course on DSP processors. The DSP engine in this case has lots of features that are very, very typical of DSP, and so we'll learn a lot about all DSPs by using this particular processor. We'll be using the DSPIC starter kit, which is a very low cost single board, and it has much of the circuitry that's needed to support other applications, that is, surrounding the peripherals on the DSPIC. I'll show you that board now. Here is the DSPIC starter kit board. In the centre of it here is the DSPIC processor itself. Now that's a system on chip device in the sense that it's surrounded with built-in peripherals, but those peripherals connect to other things. And everything else on this board is designed to support that particular processor. First of all, over here we have the power supply, and here we have a USB interface. The USB interface is going to let us connect a computer to this board, and then download programs to it and debug them in real time on the device. Here is a second microcontroller, that's a simple PIC microcontroller, and its only purpose here is to support the USB interfacing for downloading of programs and the debugging. So this section here is really the power supply and debugging section. Here we have 4 megabytes of flash memory. That provides the memory to store the programs, any permanent data, and it's also used to store temporary data that's used within the programs. Down here we've got two switches. Each of those is attached to a, an input port on the device which is a digital input and it's very easy for us to read those digital inputs to see the state of those switches. On the right hand side of the board at the bottom we've got a red, amber and green LED and each of those are attached to an output port. That's a digital port that we can switch on to switch the LEDs on or off to switch the LEDs off. Here is a microphone input and a preamplifier with a gain control. That allows us to input audio to the DSPIC processor. And that's using a built-in analog to digital converter. So this is what's called a mixed signal device because it has analog and digital capability. For output, the PIC uses pulse width modulation. That's a type of digital output that you may know about. And it's output through some very simple, cheap analog filters to return it to being an analog signal. These are the analog filters up here. As an alternative to that, we can connect the device to an audio codec, which is an analog to digital converter and a digital to analog converter, which gives us a higher quality of audio, but at the expense of adding an additional chip. And in many applications, we're very concerned not to add cost in that way. And that is followed by an amplifier here, and then the speaker output over here. So in all, you see that we've got a very simple system centered on the DSPIC device, with everything else being attached to the peripherals on that device.